Hi, I'm Rick with Hi-Vu Shooting Systems and we're going to show you how to install some sights today. First though, we do need to talk about safety. Please, before you start work on your gun, do check to make sure that it is unloaded in a safe condition and I do recommend no live ammunition in the work area. So let's get started. In this video, we're going to show you how to install a handgun sight on a handgun that has dovetail sights. The dovetail sights can be installed several different ways using several different tools. I have two sight presses here to show you. This one is a dedicated sight press. This particular one is for a SIG. We don't recommend this type of press to be used with a high-vis sight. As you can see, the pushing mechanism is going to push up on the plastic and would deform or even damage the sight. For the high-vis sights, we highly recommend a tool that will push down here on the steel dovetail. And I have one of those right here. This is a more universal tool, and it's adjustable, and I have this adjusted so that this steel pusher, as it comes across, is pushing only on the steel dovetail, staying away from the more delicate plastic. Of course, a lot of people at home won't have a sight press, so we're going to show you how to install in this video using hand tools, more commonly owned by the consumer. So let's install this sight in this M&P slide using hand tools. I'm going to use a plastic tip punch that won't damage the steel, a light hammer, a dovetail file, a flat block, can be aluminum, glass, granite, doesn't matter, and some 120 grit sanding paper. I'm going to sand from the very bottom of the sight, the bottom of the dovetail, and I'll make a few passes this way, and then I'll turn the sight around and make a couple of passes from this side. This is to keep the bottom nice and flat. If I'm pushing a little harder to one side or the other, this will average that out. Then you'll want to remove the sanding dust from it and try it in the slide. We're looking for it to go about a third of the way into the dovetail by hand. And as you can see, this one's still not going that far. It still needs more fitting. So I'll take it back to the sandpaper. A few more passes from this side. Turn the side around a few passes from this side. We want to go a little at a time. So easy to take it a little at a time. Keep trying it in the slide. So it's going a little further now, still not quite one-third. So back to the sandpaper for a few more passes. So with the last little sanding, we should have this about ready. Uh, put another drop of oil on the slide to prevent any galling or tearing on the metal and see if I've got it close enough. Yeah, there we go, a third of the way by hand, so we're ready to pick up the plastic punch and the hammer, and we'll start driving this sight in. And we'll pick up more tension, and we'll keep driving it in until I think I've got it about centered on the slide. And that looks about right there. So now we'll stop and measure it and verify that it's in the proper position. Then after cleaning the oil off the side, I've brought it over to the dial indicator. Now I've already checked from the other side, and that is I brought the needle up against this side of the side here and set the needle to zero. Now I've turned the slide over and I've checked to this side, and you'll see the needle is coming back to zero, which would indicate that the sight is sitting centered on the slide. We at hi -Vis highly recommend you visit your local gunsmith for your handgun sight installation. Your local gunsmith will have the proper equipment and expertise to do a good job for you. If you don't have a local gunsmith in your area, please feel free to visit our website for instructions and a form to send your slide in to HiViz for the installation. We hope you found our video helpful and thank you very much for watching. Mm -hmm.